सो फ्रेंड्स अब हम देखेंगे नया प्रॉब्लम इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स चैप्टर से रिलेटेड तो यहां पे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करने से पहले आप अच्छी तरह से पढ़ लीजिए ताकि गिवन चीजें और जो पूछा है आपको क्लियर हो जाए तो यहां पे पूछा है कैलकुलेट एंड कंपेयर हमें कैलकुलेट भी करना है और कंपेयर भी करना है वो क्या इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स एंड ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स ओके बिटवीन टू प्रोटॉन्स विच आर विच आर टेन रेस टू माइनस फिफ्टीन मीटर अपार्ट ओके वैल्यू ऑफ जी हमें तो ये भी पता है ऑलरेडी ही ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स जो धरती का है वो है सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन फोर इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस इलेवन मीटर क्यूब के जी सेकेंड स्क्वायर ओके देन एंड द मास ऑफ प्रोटोन दैट इज वॉट वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इंटू टेन रेस टू ट्वेंटीन के जी सो तो फर्स्ट हमें जो इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स निकालना है तो एज पर दुलम्स लॉ हमें वो भी पता है कि अगर इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स निकालना है तो इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स इज इक्वल्स टू वॉट दैट इज वन अपॉन फोर पाई एफसाइड एंड नॉट ये है कुलम्स कॉन्स्टेंट इन टू क्यू वन इन टू क्यू टू अपॉन वॉट आर स्क्वायर ओके तो दिए हुए इस प्रॉब्लम में हमें वैल्यूज को लेना है तो फर्स्ट जो फॉर्मूला है इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक के लिए वो हमने यह इससे पहले भी देखा है वो है एफ इज इक्व टू वन अपॉन फोर पाई एफ सेवन नॉट इन टू क्यू वन इन टू क्यू टू अपॉन आर स्क्वायर सो लेट्स क्लियर हम सो क्यू वन इज इक्वल क्यू टू दैट्स वाई वी कैन से वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू आर इक्वल सो दीज आर दोटोन सो डेफिनेटली द वैल्यू इज पॉजिटिव इफ वी डिस्कस अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉन देन वैल्यू इज वॉट माइनस सो हेयर दिस प्लस साइन यू मस्ट बी राइट ड्यूरिंग द एग्जाम इट गेट क्लियर वी आर डीलिंग विथ प्रोटॉन्स ओके सो दैट इज वॉट वन पॉइंट सिक्स इन टू टेन रेस टू माइनस नाइनटीन कुलोन द चार्ज ऑन अ वन प्रोटोन ओके सो वी आर डीलिंग विथ टू डिफरेंट प्रोटोन सो द चार्ज ऑन प्रोटोन इज वॉट वन पॉइंट सिक्स इन टू टेन रेस टू माइनस नाइनटीन कुलोन सो हेयर Uh, put this value in our example. So F E is equal the this is what Coulomb's constant. We know the value of this Coulomb constant is what nine into ten raised to nine into what into the value of Q one and Q two. That is what one point six into ten raised to minus nineteen into into again one point six into ten raised to minus nineteen. Okay, it's very simple and The R square means what? They are apart from each other. That is ten raised to minus fifteen. Okay, ten raised to minus fifteen meter. But here you see the R is not alone. Square of R, so that's why here square of this ten raised to minus fifteen meter. That is the unit of the given <coughs> quantity. So simply uh, you can calculate here. So first of all, make it easy. Uh, separate the values like a nine into one point six into this one point six. Okay, and then we are having the rest of the part that is what ten raised to minus fifteen square into what <coughs> into ten raised to nine. This nine into ten raised to minus nineteen, and last that is the what ten raised to minus nineteen. Okay, so. Just reduce the power. If uh, okay, yes, here definitely will reduce. But it may easy when we move this ten to minus fifteen uh, from denominator to denominator, then it will become very easy. Nine into one point six into into one point six uh, is equals to uh, nine into it. What this is uh, fifteen minus minus fifteen. Square, so it get multiplied with this fifteen, it becomes thirty, and when we move this value from denominator to denominator, it becomes positive. So this is what ten raised to thirty, and this is what ten raised to nine. So we can add this nine with this, and that plus thirty nine into what nineteen to the thirty eight minus thirty eight. Okay, so this minus thirty eight 
and this plus 28 are subtracted here and we are having the value that is what yes I am writing here this is what 9 9 into 1.6 into 1.6 into what 10 raised to 1 okay 10 raised to 1 so here simply multiply this value okay if you multiply 9 into 1.6 into 1.6 then you will get the value that is what 23 23 uh, 23 so 23 into 10 raised to 1 if we move the uh, we add here the point 2.3 then the power of 2 will be increased with 1 so that is the required value that is 2.3 into 10 less 10 square okay this is required force between them that is uh, the unit of force is what newton we know the si unit of force is what newton okay so this is the value of what electrostatic force okay now see the gravitational force okay so you write this calculation and try to solve it at your own level okay so we'll take another so here the formula for gravitation force is what g into m1 into m2 upon r square now here we know the mass of proton the mass of proton is what 1.67 into 10 to minus 27 okay just put the value i give it here fg is equal the value of g is what yes 6.674 into 10 raised to minus 11 okay into what into mass of proton that is 1.67 into 10 raised to minus 27 into the value of m2 is that is again equal that is 1.67 into 10 raised to minus sorry uh, yes into minus 27 now the distance is what that is 15 meter so 10 raised to 15 10 raised to 15 square okay why because of r square so just solve it here uh, the short form for calculation make it separate the multiplications that is 6.674 into 1.67 into 1.67 and the rest of the part that is 10 raised to minus 27 plus minus 11 27 27 that is 54 minus 54 plus uh, minus 11 that is 65 so 10 raised to minus 65 into this is what 15 into 2 that is 30 plus 32 when we move this 10 raised to 30 from denominator to denominator it becomes 10 raised to 30 plus 30 okay so here uh, plus 10 30 from uh, minus 65 here we are having 10 raised to minus 35 so the value is what 6.674 into 1.67 into 1.67 into what 10 raised to minus 30 yes 5 minus 35 okay so and then if you calculate this value then definitely you will get the 6.674 into 1.6 into 6.7 into 1. uh, 1.6 uh, 1.67 into the final value that is 10 raised to minus 35 and that is uh, here it's equals to 18 point something whatever it may be 7 or 6 into what 10 raised to 10 raised to minus 35 okay so here uh, if I want to move this fraction point or this point to the left hand side of the 8 that is 1.87 f is equal then it the power of 10 will be increased with 1 so this is 35 minus 35 it increment with 1 that is minus 34 okay 
you know very well in a minus sign if we want to increase then actually it's look like a decrease but here uh, 35 is less than 34 why because of minus sign here so here again the unit of force that is newton okay now here we are having two values this is this value for what force of gravitation and here this is what electrostatic force okay if you compare this value then we'll get 2.3 into 10 raise to 2 upon what 1.87 into 10 raise to minus 34 okay if we solve it then we'll get 2 equals to 2.3 upon 1.87 into what 10 raise to 2 into this 10 raise to 34 now uh, solve it here if we uh, remove this fraction point then definitely the fraction goes here again if we move the fraction point here then it becomes 187 then point 30 solve it and then finally we will get here the value that is that is 1.37 into the addition of the power of 10 that is 10 raised to 36 okay now this is our desired value what we need here or what we expect here so that is 1.37 1 1.37 into 10 raised to 36 okay so this is our desired value that we expect here so now we are able to find the what uh, comparison between comparison between the force of electrostatic and here the force of gravitation with the having these values so please like share and subscribe my youtube channel Dara's Infotech and please press the notification bell icon it will help you to notify upcoming videos bye bye